Welcome inside the Kyle Corder video blog. The second straight year that the University of South Dakota women have opened the WNIT against Creighton at the Dakota Dome. And for the second straight year, the Coyotes come away victorious. The 74-68, the final on Wednesday night in Vermillion. Jay Elson joined now by the voice of Coyote women's basketball, John Thayer. And, John, uh, this was a back-and-forth affair. The first half did not start particularly well. The Coyotes shot just 9 of 30. Meanwhile, Creighton red hot much better than they were in this game a year ago. Yeah, no doubt. And, and part of that is you look at Creighton, how they finished their season. They go into the Big East tournament 14 and 16 uh, on the season. They win three games, lose in their tournament championship game. They were hot coming out uh, to end their season and lost that game. They get into the WNIT. South Dakota, disappointing loss, of course, out of the Summit League tournament. You wondered how the energy would be. The energy was not there in the first half mm -hmm. of this team. Not like we're used to seeing, but the second half was a different story. Much higher energy level. Level. For Creighton in that first half, kind of a three-headed monster. We knew about the freshman, Audrey Faber, very talented player, led this team in scoring. MC McGrory, the second leading scorer. And then Sidney Lamberty came in and played very well as well. Those three uh, accounted for a lion's share of their offense in that first half. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, they were just able to move the ball very well. It looked like South Dakota's defense was close to getting some steals, but couldn't quite get the hand on the basketball. And that ball just flying right by their hands, and it opened up shots for Creighton, and they were 48% shooting in that first half, so they were very good. They were also 7 of 10 from 3. You, you honestly looked at the box score, John, and wondered how the Coyotes went in 33-30 down. It felt like maybe it should have been more, so they, they were almost fortunate to be where they were at. Right, absolutely. But what helped is the Coyotes hit five three-pointers of their own. They were 5 of 10 in the first half while Creighton was 7 of 10. So that helped keep South Dakota in and it was timely buckets. Uh, Caitlin Duffy a couple of big time three pointers for the Coyotes in that first half. Yeah, Good to see her come through uh, with a double figure performance in this game. No question she was big particularly in the first half. The second half started and, and South Dakota has not been a team John at any point this season that's put a whole lot of bad offensive halves together. One here, one there, sure. But you kind of had a feeling they were going to come out and play better in the third quarter. They certainly did. The energy level was high in that third quarter. Nicole Seacamp started to do Nicole Seacamp type things. She just started to take over and, and uh, find a way to score the basketball. Not only that, but boy, she made some tremendous passes around the floor, opening up other players. Kelly Stewart was hitting some big shots. Jasmine Tromboli, a big uh, second half three-pointer, and it just ignited. And in the third quarter, they went up by 10 points. It just felt like they were going to pull away, but then Creighton just charged right back into the game. Yeah, that was a credit to them. A little bit of a flurry there to end that third quarter and they cut that deficit from 10 to 2 going into the fourth quarter and so you, you knew this was probably going to come down to the wire and it certainly did. The South Dakota obviously ends up winning it by six John but uh, they had to earn every bit of that. Yeah no doubt they had to earn it and I think in the third quarter they held Creighton to just three points to under three minutes left in that third quarter so good defensive effort but the Coyotes earned it by getting to the free throw line in this game. Uh, they had 18 made free throws in this basketball game that was huge in the second half. And of course that was part of the problem in, in their summit league championship loss was they didn't hit their free throw so good to see them bounce back in that way uh, but they go on they get the win over a, a Creighton team that, that as you mentioned earlier was coming in confident had been playing its best basketball at the right time and so a good tune up as they move forward now in the WNIT they found out who their opponent will be and it will be Minnesota at Minnesota on Sunday at 2 o'clock. Rachel Bannum obviously is a name that stands out when it comes to the Gophers. She had 48 points against Milwaukee tonight. Yeah, she's pretty special. They trailed by one at the half against Milwaukee, but were able to pull away, get the win by seven points. Bannum, you mentioned 48 points. She had 60 earlier this year against Northwestern, and it's not the first time she's scored that many points. I mean, she's scored over 30 points multiple times this season. She's going to be a very difficult player to guard. Amy Williams said that it's going to take a team effort. Right. to guard her. You know Nicole Seacamp will get her chance to guard Rachel Bannum, but other players like uh, Kelly Stewart, Taya He Miller, they're going to have to step in. Caitlin Duffy, they're going to have to play defense on Rachel Bannum. She's very, very good. they got to find a way to slow her down, but then not have anybody else hurt them too badly from uh, the, the other part of the Gophers team. Kind of a unique situation, as you remember back in December, the University of South Dakota men went up and won uh, in, at Minneapolis, and, and that's something at Williams Arena that had not happened uh, ever before. So, uh, and they ended uh, at one point was the the longest non-conference winning streak in the country, or the second longest to Duke. 
what what a situation it would be. What an opportunity to go up and possibly beat the Gophers twice, one for each program in the same season. Yeah, that would be special, certainly, for the University of South Dakota. And, you know, for the Coyote women, they've beaten Illinois on the road. They went and beat a Big Ten school and different programs, certainly. But uh, uh, why not? Go up there, get a win. You're in the WNIT. Try to get to the next round and, and see what happens. Final score on Wednesday night in round one, 74-68 over Creighton. The Coyotes moving on. Round two, they'll take on again the University of Minnesota at 2 p.m. on Sunday. For John Thayer, I'm Jay Elson. Thanks for watching.